like to show you some of the modifications that I've made to my UTV. It's the Massimo 500 model. As you can see here, I put a roll bar on the back. That makes it look like a tough little vehicle. I love the look. I also bought a, uh, a netting that goes over that roll bar and that is meant for a Jeep actually. And it works really well. This roll bar here is made for a Polarius or Polaris. I guess Polarius, uh, not sure how they're pronounced. I don't have one, but uh, it's made by Super ATV. I'll leave the link below. I did have to make some modifications because uh, my bed was not as wide uh, that this bar was made for. So I had to buy these heavy duty L brackets that are here and they have a couple holes in them. I bolted it securely to the bed here and then to the bed here as well. So I've got four L brackets all the way around on each corner and that allows this to, the roll bar to extend out a bit from the bed and then I can uh, attach it. But it's solid. I mean, it wiggles. When I'm pulling this, shaking it, it's wiggling the whole vehicle. So very solid construction there. Uh, I think it makes the back a little bit more solid as well. Um, and then the netting, like I said, that came uh, from Amazon. I bought it for a Jeep. I'll leave the link below. But I got this netting because I'd like to take my doggies out in it and it keeps them in the back of the truck, but they can still get air and see through. But if they see something interesting uh, that we pass on the road, back in the dirt roads and the farms that we go visit, uh, they can't get excited and jump out. Not with this netting here. Another thing you'll notice I got are the seats. This back rumble seat that are in there. It's a two-seater rumble seat. It attaches uh, to the bottom of your bed this is universal and this can fit into most UTVs with a bed on the back and you can remove them really easy just pull the four pins out two on each side and of course if I have people in here with uh, with the seats in I just unclip this uh, this netting right here just like this and this can be removed or rolled up and I can put it behind the seat so the seat is a nice feature but one word of caution, when you have seats in a dump bed like this, uh, you don't want this dump bed, this handle, to accidentally be uh, released and dump your passengers out. My God, that would be bad. So, and what a liability. Uh, what I did was I have this uh, cabling here, steel cabling that wraps around this uh, roll cage here that's part of the bed now and it wraps around and I just got an easy clip. It doesn't have to lock together, but it's a clip. <coughs> that way it's a quick release if I do want to dump the bed uh, when the seats are out. Uh, but that keeps that bed in place and even if I were to release this handle here, the bed is not going to tip over. So uh, I recommend you get that steel cable, something to lock that bed in place if you do put the universal seats in. Another thing I wanted to show you is I got a muffler silencer adapter. 
Now here's the stock muffler right here and it had a little bolt on little uh, exhaust pipe and it ended right here. Uh, but this, uh, that silencer right there, it bolts up factory bolt right to your existing uh, muffler end and then it extends over and comes out on the other side there. And this uh, silencer is supposed to bring the decibels down when you're driving uh, so that you can talk to your passenger. Um, I gotta admit, it's not the best silencer. It, it may cut down just a bit, but it will not make your UTV silent. Be warned, but just an improvement is all it will do. Another new addition you'll notice is my back warning plate. That triangle there. Meant for uh, slow moving farm vehicles. And it helps when people are coming up behind you, they can see you really well. <laughs> 